Hey guys, Matt Hepner with you for this week's video preview here on The Only Colors. It's something we're going to be doing every Friday this year, just kind of a little primer to get you guys ready for game day, uh, wrapping up, tying everything together that we've talked about this week, and, and kind of highlighting some of the things that have stood out for us and that we think that you should focus on uh, as the game comes up for the weekend. Now, of course, Friday night is the opener this week tonight, under the lights against Utah State. 7 o'clock Big Ten Network if you're watching on TV. If you're going to the game, remember they are striping the stadium uh, at Spartan Stadium, so make sure to uh, wear the correct color, either green or white, depending on which section you're sitting in, odd or even. Uh, check the, uh, the MSU website for uh, full details on that if you're headed to the game. Uh, should be a fun one. Football finally back, college football finally back. I know we're all excited and uh, looking forward to what promises to be a very exciting season for Michigan State uh, and one that doesn't have nearly the level of uncertainty heading into it that we had last year. Some of the stuff that's uh, standing out for me this week in the opener, um, the big thing for me is starting quickly and specifically the offense. I want to see this offense get off to a good start and show us more consistently the potential that they showed last year in chunks. You saw what this offense could be last year, but it never really was that consistently. Now, sometimes, you know, they had some terrible weather games, and that factors into it, especially when you're talking about the stats at the end of the year when you look back. But really, overall, this team was not consistent enough on offense or not explosive enough consistently. And that's what I want to see from them this year, and specifically tonight. I want to see this team get off to a good start offensively and, and show us the weapons and how we're going to use them that this team has because this is one of the more talented offensive groups that Michigan State has had under Mark D'Antonio from top to bottom. So, you know, traditionally Michigan State kind of gets off to a sluggish start in that first game. It's usually kind of ugly, nasty, grinded out win type of game and it's it's just not that, you know, get on the horse and get it going right off the bat that you want to see coming out the gate. Now, a lot of that's cuz it's the first game of the year, but you're usually playing against an inferior opponent. And you'd like to see the team get off to a quicker start. So I'm hoping that we're going to see that this week, especially from the offense. Um, the other things that you know to really focus on this week, I think, the position battles. You still have a big outstanding position battle at the Sam linebacker spot between Tyreek Thompson and Brandon Randall, who are both listed as co-starters on the depth chart this week. Uh, I expect those two guys to get a lot of playing time each, probably split it right down the middle. I expect that you're going to see... Um, them competing for this spot this week, next week, the week after that as we head into the Big Ten schedule until the coaching staff, until one of the players really either just takes hold of the position or the coaching staff, you know, decides we're going to use certain guys in certain spots and other guys in other spots. So that's the big one position battle-wise for me to look at uh, is the Sam linebacker spot. Additionally, you got the cornerback battle not so much a battle but you have Josh Butler filling in for the injured Josiah Scott at the uh, cornerback spot opposite Justin Lane now Butler kind of took hold of the position in camp he was always you know kind of his to lose um, and he's going to get the first shot at it he's listed by himself opposite Lane at corner um, I want to see how he performs this week and how the corners perform overall without Scott out there you know Scott was a lockdown corner as a freshman last year and this is a, a group that's going to have a big test coming up in a week when they travel to Arizona State and the, uh, the explosive group of wide receivers that the uh, Sun Devils have out there. So I really want to see how Butler and Lane and the other corners perform this week. Um, Up-tempo offense they're going to see from Utah State. Not really explosive in the passing game at least a year ago, but you know they run that kind of up-tempo uh, game that you're going to see, especially when you go out and play Arizona State in the Pac-12 game coming up. So linebacker, uh, cornerback, and then you got the tackle spots on the offensive line. Both left and right tackle are listed as co-starters going into this game. I think you're going to see a lot of both uh, guys playing. You're going to see a lot of rotation on the offensive line. That's something I think that uh, is important that everyone performs well, especially when it's warm early in the season and next week again I know I keep talking about that Arizona State game but it's going to be hot out in the desert you want to have everybody performing so you can rotate guys through keep everybody fresh so I want you know that's the other battle you want to see is you know just kind of how the the tackles are performing this year in this first game with with co-starters listed at both left and right tackle so that's the stuff that sticks out for me this week coming into the first game of the year 
Um, you know, I think it should be a good game. Michigan State should be able to pull this one out. They're huge favorites. I think they're, you know, more than three touchdown favorites. That might be a little bit tough to cover. Michigan State usually doesn't cover when they are huge favorites, but I, I think that the offense should be able to put up some good points, and especially on the ground. Utah State was one of the worst teams in the country last year against the run. I want to see the run game established early. I want to see them opening up big holes for LJ Scott. And then I want to see the passing game for Lewerke and everybody else working off that running game getting going early. So, should be fun. Football is back. We're ready here at The Only Colors. We'll have it for you all season long. Make sure to hit up the website during the game for our game threads to talk about the game and everything that you're seeing as well. And uh, I'll see you back here next week before Arizona State. Go Green!